Before getting my Kanken, I had many doubts about the bag. I wanted to know things about the material, the fit, the durability, the capacity, and I basically wanted to know if it was worth my money or not. So today I decided to make a review of my bag. I have had my backpack for over four years and I have used it every single day almost. So I feel that I am ready to give you guys a complete and honest review about this bag. We will go through some features of it, the material, what fits in this bag and yeah, other comments that I have. Once again, I have used this bag almost every single day since I got it until quarantine, of course, because during quarantine I was in lockdown. But yeah, I have used it a ton of time, guys. This has been my university bag for every single day of university. It has been my beach bag. It has been my travel bag. It has been my camping bag. So literally, it has been everywhere with me. And that's why I think that I can provide a very complete and honest review of it. Now let's start with a general description of the bag. I have got it in the classic size. And it is in the color fog. Now this bag has a main big compartment, which also has a sort of back pocket. And also it has a front pouch. And on the sides it has two sides for water bottles. Now, for you to have a better comparison at the size of this bag, I will try to fit some stuff inside of it so that you can see how they fit. I'm going to try to fit my computer. And as you can see, it does fit. I am able to put a case in my computer and still fit it in here, so that's great. But it is a little bit tight. Here is me putting on a notebook. And as you can see, there's no problem with that. So this is a really good size for me and I do recommend this size but there is one problem which are the water bottle pockets. They are extremely tight and they do not fit many water bottles and if you can't fit your bottle there this takes up space of the interior of the bag. I don't know how to explain this better but once you put something it will take a little bit of the capacity of the interior just because of the way in which the pocket is built. So I do have to complain about that and even though it seems really minor it is a bit annoying not to be able to fit just any bottle that you have. I had a very pretty stainless steel water bottle and it did not fit and I had to carry it inside of the bag which was really inconvenient because you know going to university I had to carry many things and I did not have that much room to spare. The front pouch is okay and as you can see this bag does not have many compartments because it is just a simple design and that was actually really good for me. I don't have any complaints about that just the water bottle pocket because it is very small. Inside my bag I have kept the seat pad. Now all of these bags come with this and if you get it please don't throw it away. It will give your bag a lot more structure when wearing and it will also make it a lot more comfortable for you to wear it especially when you're carrying a lot of things or maybe things that have irregular surfaces because we just make the bag part a lot more comfortable. And also, if you have thrown it away, I believe you can buy it again in the store, but once again, you will have to put more money into this. And it is already a bag on the pricier side. Here are some random features of the bag that I really like. First, I think that it is a great bag for packing because you can open it sort of as you would open a suitcase and you can just pack your clothing. So if you are going out for a couple days or something like that, it is a great bag to take with you and to take some of your belongings. And also this is quite random, but I really like that you can somewhat hide the zippers. I am someone that is always walking and I'm always carrying my backpack. So, you know, having my zippers a bit more disguised in a way is great. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit more secure against pickpocketing and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Now, I really like the straps of this bag and this was a kind of selling feature for me because I am not the biggest fan of the regular straps and how they look. So I think that this one's look pretty sleek, even though it is a backpack and it is much more on the sporty side. I wear it everywhere, as I said, because it just gives a nicer touch, I believe, given that the strap is quite thin. But this is also a downside to it because if you are carrying heavy stuff you will feel the straps kind of biting into the flesh because of course they don't have the support of a padded strap. At the time I got them I also bought some padded shoulder pads which were not in color fog which is the color of my bag but I only could get them in black at the time 
which was a bit annoying because you know the combination does not look very nice I don't have the shoulder pads here but I will try to insert a picture so that you can get an idea of how they are and basically you just clip them in and you can use it as a somewhat regular backpack I have used them for trips and whenever I was carrying really heavy stuff but once again if you're constantly carrying heavy things you might want to look into another backpack or maybe buy the kanken that already brings them or as me you can buy them separately and use them when needed. Do these added shoulder pads work great? Well I have to say that no, I guess they don't work as good as really sturdy and good shoulder pads that other bags have. So once again if you are to carry a lot of things you might want to consider other models or maybe other bags because you know it is not the most comfortable bag when carrying heavy things. And I don't really think that these shoulder pads solve the problem, they do help a lot but it is not once again the most comfortable bag when carrying heavy items. This bag also comes with a top handle and this is one thing that I was really careful about. I don't like the kankans where the top flaps kind of fall down and that looks quite slouchy to me so I was always very very careful of using the handles properly and always making sure that they were close together and that they were standing upright. This has helped me to keep my bag in a much better condition and it does not look as old and as used as it is which is something that I would recommend if you get one. Also for the back straps, if you want to use it as a somehow purse, I guess, so not using the straps but taking the back from the handle, you can adjust this and clip it so that they are not like flopping and bothering you all the time. And what I like about this bag, and this was also a selling feature for me, is the way in which the weight is distributed because the straps are sewed like in this shape, in an X shape, which is actually great for your bag and also for the weight that you're carrying. As for the material, I have to say that it is very, very durable and it is really good quality. You can feel that it's good quality. Remember, I have taken it everywhere. This bag has been everywhere with me. And the only thing that I can say is that I have found a little hole in the back of the bag. I'm really careful about the bag, but I don't baby the bag, meaning that I have used it and of course this was to be expected. Also, I have washed the bag three times, I believe, and I have done this with very gentle soap and by hand, of course, I would never put it in the washing machine. So yeah, this also resists me washing it. One downside to this bag is that it is not waterproof, so I have had rain on it and my things got wet. Not extremely wet, but wet and yeah, I would really love it if it were waterproof, which it isn't. The logo of the Kankan has also stood the test of time and use. And as you can see, I believe that it looks a bit more yellow now than it used to before, but I cannot guarantee this 100% because, yeah, that might just be my perception. As for the color, I would 100% recommend this color because Kankans do, you know, they tend to get dirty. And this color is great dirt won't show up that much as I know that happens with other colors. If you get a brighter color, maybe a pink, a white, I don't know which other bright colors, they will stain quickly. This one also stains but it does not look stained so you can just clean that away and it looks really really nice. One thing that I would like to comment on it is that it is a very lightweight bag and it is great because you can store it everywhere, you can take it everywhere as well, meaning that if you have a trip and you don't want to take it as your carry-on bag, you can just put it on the suitcase and it weighs almost nothing and also it does not add weight to what you're carrying. So I know of many bags that are very nice but they are quite heavy so adding the weight of the bag plus the weight of whatever you're carrying that makes up for a lot of weight for your shoulders. So so I really really like that this bag is not heavy at all. 
But this also comes with a downside that it is a quite slouchy bag and it is quite easy for it to lose its shape and sometimes it does not look the best because it does not have you know sharp edges or anything like that which could you know add a little bit of style to it. But for that I really recommend you once again to keep the seat pad, don't throw it away because you might use it and it's much more comfortable in that way. As for the quality of the zippers and the clasps and everything, I don't have any complaints. They have stood the test of time and they're working really great. And yeah, now we come to the big question. Is this bag worth the money? Is this bag worth the little investment that you make on it? And I would say 100% yes. Even though there are some disadvantages to it, and even though mine has a little hole in the back of it, I would totally recommend it. It has proven to be a versatile bag, you can take it everywhere. The material and the quality are really good, and also the style, I really enjoy it. And this has been a purchase that, you know when you get something and it is new and you really like it, but then when time goes by, you get a bit bored of it? Well, this does not happen to me with this bag. Like, I really enjoy wearing it, I think that it is stylish, I think that it is something that I can use for many more years, and also because it has such a good quality, it was worth every single penny. And I can say I got a lot for the money that I paid. It seemed really expensive at first, but you know, I have used it for almost four years now. So this really means that it is a well-made bag. So yeah, this is just my honest review. I'm not sponsored by Kanken or anything like that, but a lot of you wanted to know what my true opinion about Kanken is. So yeah, if you got any more questions, I will be happy to answer it to you. And if you got a Kanken, just comment what the color of your Kanken is. I find that quite funny. And if you have other tips or recommendations for people that want to get this bag, please also comment that below okay my friends that was everything for today and if you want to check my socials i am on instagram at simple victoria underscore and you get to check out some pictures that i post and some updates of my life that i post in there and also if you want to make a contribution to my content and you want to help me to keep creating i have a two dollar donation tier up on patreon you might want to check that out in case you want to have some more exclusive content that i have posted before and that i'm not posting anywhere else so yeah, I really hope you like and support my content and of course you can subscribe to this channel and hit the little notification bell to get notified about my upcoming videos because basically if you don't hit the bell, YouTube might not tell you about them. So yes, my friends, until next time, thanks for watching and please stay simple.